Right, hello Aaron. Right, so, this is the tricky part. Now, you've done the, or, you know, you're going to do the flight plan on Sim Brief, and you're also going to export that, excuse me, um, to, um, to the PMDG using the SimBrief downloader. So, now, after you've done all that, just for argument's sake, I'm going to PMDG set up the panel state and taxi, then execute that, right? Just means the engines are running okay right so we get to the FMC okay these are the soft keys right so first things first what what you do is FMC Then you click L12, pause in it. Then it, it comes up with root. So you click on that again. Then flight plan request. And there you see EGMC to EGCC. Okay. Select that. Then you click on that again. I don't know why, but you do. That is that is just, just the way it is. Here we go, right? Root uplink ready. So, click on load. And, obviously, you can see it's root uplink is loading already. Because it, anything it, it's doing, it does show, tell you on, on the scratch pad which is what that's called. So you activate and then execute. Right. Now, so basically, that shows you you're going from South End to Manchester. Right. Obviously, you've got um, departures and everything else. Now, what I'm going to do briefly is just go into ATC, departure straight out, and it will tell me, there we go, hold short of runway 23. So I'll close that. So I put in runway 23. Now, then execute. Okay? So that part, that part done, all right? Oh, your flight number, you can do, but I don't, I don't usually do it myself. Right, so we go to Perth in it. Now, all of this, okay? So, oh, your cruise altitude, Depends on you, basically. Well, I think so, anyway. So, what I'll do... No, I won't, actually. I'll put... We'll go 260. So, 26,000 feet. And then you see 260. Now, all of this, okay, we don't enter. You just click on the button and it gives you that there, so then you end, then you click on that same button again. Sorry about that, and then that comes through as well. Reserves, I usually just put one, and cost index doesn't have any bearing as far as I'm aware. I just put 100, then execute. Then it's come up with 
N1 limit. So, so that there's nothing for you to enter in that on that screen. Now we've got flaps. I usually two five in this, and then it's come up with our takeoff speeds V1, V2. I click on that first. CG and that gives you your trim now going back to that you then click on that that and that and you'll see now they're in on that side okay uh, right now you've got Navigraph so just for argument's sake Bring up your chart. Now, I'm just going to... Oh, there we go, look. So, I load the flight plan. AGMC to uh, Manchester. Right. So, runways available. Select. Oh. Now, alright. ATC said 2-3, so I'll stick with 2-3. Uh, departures available, it's got none, so I don't know. So, then you've got 05 right, this is purely just for, for the video. Okay, um, and I'm, I'm just going to go the first one, alright? No. I'm going to go Elvos or Elvo1M, okay? So Elvo1M, add to root. And then I'll shut that down. All right? And then, right, so done that and it's Elvo1M. So departure and arrival. Now, I don't know why there's no SIDS from... South end, I haven't got glue. So we've got two, three active, so we'll just leave that. Departure and arrival again, and it's the second one down. And we're going to Elvo 1M, and I think that was there we go. 05 left okay and then execute that again root take off and it and it's all there now before that fs actions fuel now now i'm not going to check the fuel right you know, how much we really need, but for I'm just going to put £8,000, because I use pounds. All right, then I've got to verify takeoff speeds again, which isn't a problem. So, FMC, and there we are. So we'll just go that again, that again, and that again. Then we come to the legs. And this shows your route, okay? All the uh, waypoints. Now, you see there, it's blank. That's a route discontinuity. See? Right, so what, what I do, what you do, click on the one after you see that. So it's next page. Click on that, and that will go in the scratch pad. Page back, and then it fills that gap. And then, your whole route is in the FMC, and then you just set your uh, autopilot, 
accordingly. So obviously we said, which is a bit high, I think, but never mind. But we said 26, well, I said 26,000 feet. So obviously you said that, your altitude 26,000. Now, your speed, I usually set to 230, which I then leave that because when you've taken off, you click on CMD, in this case, CMDA, then LNAV and VNAV, and the aircraft will take, oh, make sure flight director's on, I do apologise, on both, both sides, uh, and then, right, so, you autopilot is CMDA, LNAV, VNAV, the speed will do all, do it automatically and it will just adjust accordingly to what the speed says in the FMC. Okay? Right. Um, I hope that helps. I hope you can understand it. Um, I do apologise if you can't. All right. Catch you later. Bye. There we go.